Unity Church of El Cajon welcomes you. Thank you for joining us for Transformational Tuesday. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Well, welcome everyone. I'm Reverend Deb Reeves in Ajijic, Mexico. It's so nice to be with all of you again today. Please join me in an opening prayer. Oh, just breathing in and anchoring into our chairs, breathing in that light and that love of source, always guiding, always protecting, ah, a shield of love surrounding us, just a protective bubble of love, a feeling of softness and ease and peace and calm. Thank you, Source, for being present with us today as we talk about spiritual topics, uniting us in consciousness, uplifting spirits, making a difference in our lives and in the lives of others. Thank you, thank you. And so it is. Amen. Amen. Ooh, well, that felt good right there. So I'm excited. <laughs> The topic today comes from the book, The Fifth Agreement, by Don Jose Ruiz. And so I'm going to be talking about three languages that we use. Now, this interested me because one is gossip. Number two is the warrior. And number three is the truth. And how, in fact, we live in all three worlds at different times. And I myself am always rising to want to be from the truth all the time. And sometimes I'm not. So I thought it was interesting that the way they defined it is that gossip is distorted. It's something we hear and then we pass on, but we don't know if it's the truth. We just share it. And sometimes we really feel like, oh, that's good. And we're making a difference. But we don't know if we're sharing the truth or not. And if we're sharing gossip, it could hurt someone if it's not the truth. And it's the language of the victim. A victim will share gossip, definitely, to protect themselves and make others wrong. And it's the language of injustice or punishment, you know, somebody's got to pay for this, but it's, it's purely lies. And we gossip until we wake up and we realize, I don't want to do that anymore. That doesn't feel good. And then it speaks about the second step is the warrior. And, and the warrior lives in both worlds, the gossip and the truth rebels against gossip, you know, and, and then they're like up to here with it. You know, I've heard so much gossip. What is the truth? And I had an example in my life here in the last week or two that um, the Poco a Poco organization that I'm helping with in the feeding of the children, we heard that a group of people had been told to no longer bring the sandwiches and the oranges that they bring out once a week because there was fighting between these indigenous children. The ones that didn't qualify would try to beat up the ones that got the pa brown paper bag sandwich, peanut butter sandwich and an orange. And even some of the indigenous mothers started wanting their sandwich. Where's my sandwich? So the director asked the children, I mean, the organization to stop giving that. Well, she didn't go on. Something happened, we changed the subject. So another worker and I were talking about it and the other worker was getting upset. And well, she just let all that funding go. Oh, that's terrible and making wrong and judgment. And it was just gossip. We didn't know the truth. Maybe she did talk to them and maybe they're just providing money for the food that she brings out that they cook right there for the children. So I asked her just to wait, wait, because we were going out again and ask when we go out. And in fact, 
It was all gossip. It was story that was being made up that in fact, yes, that organization is now providing the monies to them for the food that they can cook right there on site. So there's no more fights. But that's how subtly we can get caught into gossip and make wrong. And, and then you notice where you're at. Oh, I can gossip about this or I can stand for the truth and say, let's ask, let's find out. That's kind of where the warrior sits. And then the third language we talk is the truth. And that's not just in our talking, that can be music. Music is truth. It just vibrates and you feel good and happy. Or it can be um, art, arts inspiring. It opens your heart or dance and movement is truth. It's expressive, it's powerful, it's beautiful. It makes you feel good. Or go out in nature, you see truth in the beauty in nature. You smell the fragrance. You never have to say a word when you're out in nature. You, you just tune in and it feels wonderful. So today is a question for all of us. What message are we giving? Are we gossiping? Are we that warrior kind of sitting on both sides? Are we telling the truth? You know, is there inner conflict when you hear other people's lies or can you discern and sit back and see that that's where they are in their process in life? Can you love them even though they gossip a lot or are you the warrior or are you a victim in some of these stories you're telling? So um, would any of you like to share something in your life that might align with one of these three ways we communicate? Well, I can definitely uh, share on that um, very interesting topic. I have been in situations where there's been a lot of gossip and I'm thinking of the time I worked as a counselor in a residential treatment where people actually lived there. And it was often a matter of gathering allies, trying to get everybody to like this person and avoid that person for whatever reason. And it was a real common dynamic that would show up. And I always tried to model, because you want to teach, right, um, to go and get the person who's being talked about and ask them, their side of the story. That was pretty easy to do in residential because they were usually in another world. So it, it wasn't like you had to go across country. And the person who was telling the story would always freak out. You know, I wanted to talk about you. I didn't want to talk to you. And getting them to talk to each other was, was really very, very powerful and very helpful. Um, I don't know that I resonate with the, with the warrior. Um, I'm much, much softer I, usually in, in doing these things. I want to include and bring forth and empower and, uh, and try to keep people from getting defensive. I find that if I'm confrontational in any kind of an attacking manner, people shut up, they shut down, they don't say anything. It's, yeah, okay, whatever. And we don't, it's like I've lost that communication. But when I'm asking clarifying questions and, and while that's really interesting and do you think maybe you misunderstood, let's go get that person and see how they feel about it, then it, it seems like a natural flow. Now, that works in residential treatment, but in real life, you don't always have those, those opportunities. I find if I get cornered to talk about somebody, what's wrong with them? Why are we praying for this person? Whatever, I can say, and this is so 12 step, it's not my story to tell. 
and that exempts me from having to gossip. And I'm standing for in the truth. I'm not going to tell you I don't know um, or it's none of your business. How do I know what your business is? But I can tell you it's not my story to tell. So there's my two cents. I love that. Thank you for sharing. That's great. Um, I'll share. When I heard about this topic, I did some research and what I found out, they said, be skeptical. And I thought skeptical, that doesn't sound like an agreement. And it, I think what it means is to be wise and discerning and to actively listen. And so actively listening instead of talking, actively listening to what people say. And if you hear gossip, you can listen to see what's going on and you don't have to judge it. But then if you see somebody being confrontational, you don't have to judge that either. And if you let go of all judgment, then the truth will emerge. I like that too. Thank you. It reminds me of when you were first talking that you remember that game we used to play when we were kids about one person would make a statement and then we'd go around the circle. And by the time it got to the end, it was completely something different. You know, it's yes. because, because we all have our own filters. We hear what we can hear and we discern and it only takes a second what we want to repeat. So it just comes out completely different. It, it, I, I used to think that if somebody was gossiping, I had to pick sides and I had to stand up for what I thought was at the time truth. And I, that's what I used to think. And then I got into recovery and I realized it isn't my business and it isn't my story to tell. And a lot of people go, oh, you, you know, I, I mean, here's one of the things that would be walking through the mall and I'd see somebody that I knew from a meeting and, um, you know, we're supposed to be completely confidential. So uh, one of my family members would say, well, how do you know them? Oh, it's a, they're a friend of a friend, you know? It's like, yeah, oh, I don't know. But, or, or someone would question, you know, well, they sound like blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, it's not my, not my business. It's not my story. Um, and I realized that. I really didn't understand the whole term and about the warrior part of it. Um, I know that my history is, <clears throat> when people get confrontational, sometimes I just let them live in their own crap. I'm just like, I will, I will walk away because I'm, I won't stand there and fight for, for a justice that I know the truth in. You know, somebody used to, a long time ago, somebody accused me of some things and I was just like, I'm not even going to argue this side. And they said, see, you're guilty. And I was just like, I'm not even, I'm, you're not going to push me to say something that's not true because I know the truth. And I've already told you the truth and you can believe this other person if you want, but there's nothing I can do about it. And one of the things my children even accuse me of is, you know, uh, one of them would say something to me and I wouldn't say anything. I mean, if just somebody tells me stuff. I just, that's, that's the conversation I'm having. I don't, it's not my story to tell. Right. So <laughs> one of my other children would come up and, you know, two, three months later and say, well, you know, this one said this about this. And, you know, why didn't you tell me? They said they talked to you about it. I come said, it's not my business. It's not my place to tell you. And if they wanted you to know, they would have said something to you. So, and I still get accused of that today. And certain things are like, oh, well, I heard you were talking to such and such. And I'm like, but it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, that's not my story to tell. So I just keep going back to that and, um, and letting people, you know, I, I haven't gotten past to the right, where, point to the point where I will argue at all the truth. I'm just, just like, I know the truth. And if you want to live in that, now if the port, pertins, person is important to my life, I will try to, you know, work out the situation. But if there, if it's just a confrontational act, I, I just don't have the energy for it anymore. It's just like, I pick my wars. <laughs> Right. Sounds like you're a warrior for the truth and yeah. that needs no explanation. Right. So sounds great. Bringing that up. So would we like to go into meditation unless somebody else has something more to share on it? No? Okay. So let's take these agreements 
into our a time of meditation, even though it's brief, as we breathe in the truth. These stories are stories from people's hearts and we allow them their story as we sit in our truth and we know the connection we have with God. We breathe that in and we relax and we let go of everything that's not true. The truth does not bind us to anything. We know it, we feel it, we sense it, we are it. We are one with the truth. Breathe that in and let go. And rest in the moment of knowing that everything else can be left behind. Breathe it in and relax. And we know God is with us, for us, as us and, and through us in the truth, in the agreements that we keep the truth in our hearts and in our actions. And we say, thank you, thank you. Amen. 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 Thanks for joining us today, folks. And we hope that you will come back tomorrow and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and leave us comments. Tell us what you want us to talk about. We love hearing from you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you enjoy our chat. Be sure to comment, like, and share with others. Blessings.